your daily games. Now, the good news is all of these games are in our recallers program or our homeschool the dog program, but many of them I've also included on my YouTube channel. So you can jump on over to YouTube and do a search for them. So first of all, the search game where a dog knows when they can look for cookies on the floor. Number two would be it's your choice, meaning we're creating a game where the dog knows you're going to deliver reinforcement. That creates a little bit of frustration that a dog has to work through and the dramatic music that will come up later in today's podcast episode. Number three is collar grab game. Number four is crate games. Number five, the relaxation protocol, which you can find in podcast episode 191. Number six is hot zone. Number seven is the bring me game, the retrieve game. Now I would put number eight because a lot of people will tell you the way to stop your dog from barking is to teach them to speak on cue. And I'm going to put that you can teach your dog to speak on cue, but if you're going to teach your dog to speak on cue, make sure that you are teaching the dog to speak until you tell them to stop meaning you teach them a cue and they keep doing it. And then you give them another cue and reinforcement so that the other cue, I would suggest it be something like shh means stop barking. I don't recommend you use the word quiet. Why? Because when your dog's barking, when you don't want them to, I have yet to hear anybody say quiet in a way that doesn't seethe with bitterness and resentment towards that barking dog. I think it'd be really hard for you to shh that dog in a very angry and bitter, frustrated way. (laughs) So those are the skills. I'm just putting those out there. If you don't have them, work on them. They're all very, very important. All right. 